the Senate is one step closer to passing a major piece of legislation aimed at supporting domestic manufacturing of semiconductor chips that power the nation's smartphones, cars, computers, medical equipment and weapons systems. The upper chamber cleared a procedural vote Tuesday morning, teeing up a final vote this week. The CHIPS bill, short for Creating Helpful Incentives to Produce Semiconductors for America Act, would provide $54 billion in grants for semiconductor manufacturing and research, tens of billions to support regional technology hubs and a tax credit covering 25% of investments in semiconductor. The bill is a narrower version of an economic competitiveness package that passed the Senate last year but stalled in the House. Supporters argue the legislation is long overdue and will lower U.S. reliance on China for chip manufacturing, which they say poses a national security risk. According to the Congressional Research Service, Nearly four-fifths of global fabrication capacity was in Asia as of 2019. We used to make 40% of the world's chips, we make about 12% now, Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo said during a virtual roundtable with President Biden Monday afternoon. The reality is, while we have invested nothing to spur domestic chip manufacturing, China has invested more than $150 billion to build their own domestic capacity. So we're very much behind. The Biden administration says enhancing the chip industry at home will also help ease supply chain disruptions. But critics of the legislation, including Senator Bernie Sanders, an independent who caucuses with the Democrats, question subsidizing the semiconductor industry. Let us rebuild the U.S. microchip industry, but let's do it in a way that benefits all of our society, not just a handful of wealthy, profi. The legislation also authorizes roughly $100 billion in spending over five years on scientific research, including more than $80 billion for the National Science Foundation. Chips alone are not going to be sufficient to preserve U.S. technology leadership, which is why we need the rest of the NO. The CHIPS bill is one of the major legislative priorities before Congress as the August recess looms. Democrats will need at least 11 Republicans to vote for the bill in order for it to pass. 17 Republican senators voted to advance the legislation Tuesday, Senators 